Okay, hello everybody, everybody, welcome back, fast forward gamers, let's get right into it, so this is going to be Banished Episode 5, episode five, episode 5 of Banished, so let's get right into it, so what are we doing, so we are actually going to try to get, our, our population is actually going up pretty good, we do have a good decent amount of students, and a good decent amount of babies, oh, uh, if you guys like it, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, all that good stuff, so let's uh, let's get right into it, so um, we're going to the trader, oh, oh my god, this kind of mess, <laughs> it's messed with my head, so, there is sheep here. There's six sheep, six hundred dollars a piece. I did want to get two of them, which obviously we do need to get some. But um, I do something that I do regret doing. So <laughs> uh, I'm sure you guys have done it a few times as well. But well, probably not. I mean, you guys are way better than me at playing this game. But yeah, I go and I make sure that everything's good to go. Order and I push the dismiss button, not the trade button. So they take my sheep. Oh my god, that was horrible. That was horrible. We could have got sheep. We could have been putting them inside our pasture and having them already good to go. But uh, I pushed the wrong button. I pushed it. Anyways, we got to continue. We got to move on. We got to go from there. And let's get right into it. So our big problem or our big trouble for this episode, I believe it's going to be something that could have been prevented from the beginning. Um, I have some stuff set up to go to the market. or not to the market, to the trader. Like right away there's like a whole bunch of like fruits and vegetables and we have peppers we have um what else um peppers we have bell peppers we have uh coats we have all that good stuff to go over there um and i don't realize that uh, i don't realize that till about maybe halfway or a little bit more than halfway in the video but um right now i'm actually letting everything play off by itself and um, we do gotta think about actually food and stuff like that no food mainly and stone at the oh no iron is a really big problem as well um right now i'm checking the house making sure that they're kind of young actually still making babies and stuff like that so there's a couple houses there that are a bit um high in people but i'm just gonna let that pass just for a little bit you know we'll be all right we'll be all right with that um uh what else what else so tools are at nine nine and depleting we do not have enough wood we do not have enough firewood uh we do not want well, logs firewood or anything like that due to the fact that they're all, they're all going to the, the the trader the trading post all of my logs is going to the trading post because my um my woodcutter is making um <clears throat> my woodcutter is making firewood which firewood is going straight to the uh, the trader um so right now Let's get right into where the video is at. So I'm going to make a mine. I am making a mine because I feel like iron is basically becoming a problem. It's becoming a big problem and I've been going everywhere all around the map. Well, for the most part, all around the map trying to get it. Um, I'm not sure if this is a good idea of trying to get or get in, uh, in a mine uh, this, I guess, soon in the game. But I think it's a pretty good, decent time. Um, uh, the quarry is okay. We don't need stone like that right now. Um, but there is a whole bunch of nice, good stone all pretty much close to the map around us, which is uh, great. Look at that. Got some cattle. We do have some cattle. Our previous cattle did die. Um, I think they slaughtered them. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some cattle. I'm trying to get the stuff that I need. And look at that hide. And tools so I am gonna trade some tools I am gonna trade some hide and fire with 149 that's 75 of the tools and 150 so I'm trying to basically get it to right around where it's basically not too bad so I'm gonna pause it here so um, iron tools we got 75 so we're gonna have about 125 inside stock trading posts right now once we do this trade we got about um, we're gonna have a uh, little bit over and have 151 of uh, firewood and we're gonna have not enough uh hide coat so all that is gonna have to get replenished you know um and look at that i hit that trade but <laughs> so we got two cows which is fantastic cattle coming in boom 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 they walk themselves for some reason straight into the the, the pen um good to go so now we are cold um we do have a um what's it called uh, there you go but i'm not a blacksmith uh, um uh, what are those called that that make the coats? It'll come to me. So a tailor shop that's making hide, boom, 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 boom. And the blacksmith was just making tools, but I don't realize that we are gonna run low on tools pretty soon. We're we're down to nine tools, and guess where all those tools are gonna go to? You guys guessed it right. It's gonna go to the trading post. Um, we're trying to fill up the trading post right now because we do have it at a hundred. 
people use 75 of those trading of the, of the iron tools to trade for the cattle and now they need to get replenished so our tools are extremely low there's zero so there's three four without a tool five six and it's just climbing it's climbing it's going up and it's, it's stressing me out so um yeah i was not sure what to do um i was like oh no we need some iron we need some logs all that is going to the trader <laughs> so just keep that in mind when you guys have the trader up and running um, and you put an actual number to keep inside the trader they're gonna keep replenishing it I'll eventually figure it out I believe yeah I eventually figure it out but I did find a whole bunch of iron up there which I thought is perfect we'll be able to actually get the mine up and running so I believe we do need some more iron up there stone oh, we don't need iron at all okay sweet uh, stone is up and running we do need some builders we just gotta build that up uh, farmers so I do look at my food and it's basically it's depleting pretty quick we are growing we are getting a bunch of people we got we're at 31 um, full-grown adults we got seven students and we got five children so keep that in mind we got to put a whole bunch more crops down that way we can sustain our food throughout the, the winter especially that's definitely winter oh, excuse me took a sip of my coffee right quick so mine is up and running perfect we got another trader we got wheat seeds oh yes i forgot we do have wheat now it's got a whole different type of plant that we can actually grow which is great but we need people we need farmers so they can go out there and do their thing you know so right now i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to sell which mainly is iron tools um i'm trying to uh, basically trade for more different types of um seeds um, so we can get a variety of food, you know, but tools are very, yeah, those are, they're running low, running extremely low because they are all going to the trader. So keep that in mind, please, <clears throat> because that's what, that was stressing me out for a good decent amount. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Like I see some go in there, but they get out real quick or they get them out real quickly because they send them to the, to the trader. Yeah. So now that I have a mine up and running, I feel like there's going to be more casualties. So I am trying to figure out where I'm going to put a hospital. I put it down right there and then I make the road because the road basically I have it attached from down there and it goes up. Uh, we'll get we'll get to there. Um, I have it going from the side of the stockpile up and over into the mine. You can see the road going right there. Yeah, it goes up and over, so I put the hospital right there in front of the the, the woodcutters. <clears throat> so that's great. Look at that. Yes. It came in and it went out pretty quickly for that week. Um, but, yeah, food is, 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 is um, it's scarce. It's scarce. It's, it's yeah, it's scarce. Those, those tools are what's killing me, too. Um, they, they are making them. Uh, I don't realize it um, quickly enough, but they are making them. But they're just getting out of the market and they're going straight to the trader. So they can replenish it, you know? Um, yeah, and I didn't realize that. But you got 25, 26 people without tools. That's that's insane. And our food is going low. We're at 200, 222. Yeah, it's going it's going down quick. So yeah, this episode was uh, it was a bit stressful, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. It's stressful in a good way, you know? Um, yeah, stressful in a good way. So yeah, and I feel like some of these houses in the bottom, uh, not these, those, some of the houses down there are going to have to be upgraded to stone pretty soon. But I don't want to do that yet. I'll probably do that when uh, we get a quarry going. That way we can have a constant flow of uh, of stone going in. So that's great. Um, okay, do, 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 going in and out. Yeah, so I'm just looking around, trying to see, trying to figure out what is going on, where I'm. Oh yeah, actually I think I already figured it out. Look, I have 50 tools inside the shack. There we go. Oh, yeah, chestnut seeds and pear seeds. I can't afford both of them. Um, but I believe I go for chestnut seeds so we can grow a different type of tree. Obviously, chestnut tree. Um, trying to figure out what I'm trying to sell. I'm trying to make calculations to see if I can sell both or if I can buy both. I can't. Um, yeah, I can't, which is okay. I mean, they're going to come back. So we do that good trade. We do got to do different type of new different type of seed. Um, which is great and we can start growing that eventually I do want to start growing but um, yeah yeah so we got peach seed and a uh, chestnut seed which is great and we also got a good a new decent amount of uh, wheat which is great 
so I'm trying to basically organize the orchard trying to put it in a basically a more um, optimized spot <clears throat> I believe a 7 by 11 is a good uh, width because you can fit three trees so it's a tree a space a tree and a space um, so that's three wide seven wide and then 11 um, long that gives you enough so you can only have one farmer to work that spot which is not too bad not too bad okay so uh, oh, for that one farmer to actually go through the harvest and make sure you have plenty of food and stuff like that so i do take those orchards off that are right there i feel like they're not in a good spot um so i take that out i believe i take it completely out and i put um crops uh, we are very we're dangerously low on crops which uh yeah it's it's a big problem um i try to figure out if there's an orchard that i can put i do put one up over there which that's a chestnut i believe um so eight by nine Oh, it's a I found out it's a good spot well I tested it's a pretty good spot I mean you could have one farmer and it'll be he'll be fine or he or she will be fine doing that all by himself so um, yeah that's great on that part we are actually replenishing our tools uh, we're not doing too good on food still which you know it is what it is it's okay we'll, we'll get there whenever uh, we'll get there um, as quickly as we can <laughs> so uh, so I try to put another crop field down there and I'm trying to figure out where I can put another one because we are running low on space. I'm not trying to put it in the middle of the city, but I believe I do put, yeah, yeah, I actually take some road out of there and take that right there. And then I believe I take the second part of that road down over there as well. Um, just so I can make a little more room, have a nice good farm plot or farm uh, section. And then I believe I have a road running through the back. Can't remember. Yeah, I do. Sweet. Okay, so we got a road there. I try to put a road there, but it's just too steep. And then I'm trying to look at the people, making sure that they are work or they are good and decent amount. I mean, most of them already have gone to school. So that is a very good. Pears and eggs, I don't really need them, but I think I buy the pears just so our, my people can have different, um, a variety of food. I mean, it's always good to have a nice, good variety of food, which is great. Um, okay, pastures, pastures are looking pretty good. Um, crops are looking okay. I mean, we do have a good, decent amount of farmers. We at least need one in each of them. So, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. And that's, I believe, an eight by nine uh, size farm plot. I believe I've gone a bit higher. But yeah, eight by nine is good. Oh, I do demolish that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way I can get another farm plot or another yeah growing plot there, which we desperately, desperately need. Food is scarce. Um, we're gonna have to get some more farms going eventually. Um, foresters are actually getting kind of scarce too. Uh, there you go. <clears throat> so firewood. Oh yeah, firewood actually did grow significantly. Um, it's up to four hundred right now, but it just keeps going up and up and up and up, which is fantastic i mean uh, as it goes up i make sure that it reaches its max and then i put some inside the trader and then i gotta think about when i sell the stuff from the trader um yeah because i don't want all my firewood to go straight there look firewood is at 200 i did raise it in the in the um the trading post so i started at 100 for the firewood now i brought it up to 400 because our firewood inside of our stockpile is up to about 400 it goes up pretty quickly which i feel pretty comfortable putting more inside the trading post um so yeah look at that oh, i wish i stopped it a bit sooner but that is a wonderful view having all of those of uh, um all those farms actually growing and doing good for you that's fantastic so um uh, boom 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 so yeah dirt's so i'm trying to figure out where i'm going to put more houses actually so i'm trying to see i'm thinking about putting houses up back there um which i believe i do but i put it too close to the the mountain so um i do end up moving it but not too far uh we got ourselves a nice good hospital making sure that people are staying alive which is <laughs> i love it look at that oh that's nice that's real nice that's sweet okay um, so that is done. That is good to go. That is fantastic. Um, where else? Where else? Where else? So, uh, plots are looking good. People were up to 43 at 3. Oh, yeah. And I get the tavern up and running. Get some Yale. Get some beer so our, some of our uh, people can be happy. Oh, another problem. Um, so there isn't, there isn't enough houses. Oh, look. There's a house there that's empty. 
Okay, I guess I overlooked that. But I'm thinking like, oh no, like they're missing houses. Um, so now we got to build some more. Um, up over here in the back, I do actually put the road a bit too close to the mountain, like I said earlier. Um, so I try to put more houses on this side. And I'm going to put them right there. That way, I mean, we're going to need more people, you know, so... Um, with that in mind, we do kind of have to get more farms up and going. Um, I don't think this this is going to be enough with all these farms. Obviously, it's not. So, um, we're going to have to think about getting more farms and pastures and stuff like that <clears throat> all around. Uh, we do have the basic stuff, which is like um, firewood and our tools and stuff like that. Um, we do have a good... Uh, not, I mean... We have a mine going. There's only two people, I believe, working there now. Uh, we'll eventually get up to wherever it needs to be. I believe it's 15. That way we can get a nice good flow of iron coming out. And I believe iron and coal. Iron and coal, yeah. So, we got that going for us, which is great. Um, what else, what else, what else? Okay, yeah. So, we got a good... So, we got three wheat farms. I believe we have three. Do I put another one there? I don't think I do. I, I can't remember. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the more the merrier, huh? The more the merrier. Um, so our far, our food is not looking too bad. It is growing about fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred, um, which is great. Out of what two hundred or zero? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's growing great. Oh yeah, cabbage. Oh oh yeah, I must have bought that. Yeah, I did. I did. I bought it from the trader. I remember buying it from the trader, but I haven't put it in the system yet. Um. Yeah, so we got crops going. They're looking okay. So this is where I realized that I can bring down the, 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 the field workers. So I'm trying to bring them all down to one. That way they won't have two in each of them. Like one of them is good. Um, once they start, I believe it's like late winter into spring, they start planting and cropping and stuff like that. And then they grow and then it just, it turns out to be pretty good. Um, yeah, so I bring them all down. That brings down the farmers from about 21 to 12. And I believe there's still some with two. So I do go back and double check that into the near future. So, oh, damn, we're at 53 seconds still. <laughs> Barely. Uh, that went by pretty quick. So, uh, where are we going? Where are we going? So, uh, we're going, we're trying to see cabbage. Yeah, we're trying to get a worker on there. Uh, which, unfortunately, uh, there's still some that only have, have two. So, we got to bring that down to uh, 11 which I think that's enough, or that's as many farmers that we have. Um, 600 was the max for the far, for the fire uh, firewood, which we brought that up. Look at that. Oh, it's nice. That is nice. Oh, so yeah. So um, uh, if you guys like this video, if you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, all that fantastic stuff. And then we're about to we're about to end this video pretty soon. We're gonna take a nice good little tour here and there and i will definitely see you guys in the next episode you guys have a good day good evening where you guys may be at and i'll see you guys in the next you guys have a good one